Now, it is an age-old problem for many. What to do about your hair turning grey? Well, for men and women, it's one of those telltale signs of getting old that most of us just wish would go away. Well, now, that could be the case, thanks to a group of scientists who've discovered the gene that causes the colour to change. And with a bit more research, we could soon be on the way to treatments that delay, halt or even entirely reverse the process. Sky's Ender Brady reports. No matter who you are or what you do, there's no stopping the ageing process. Or is there? The discovery of the gene that causes hair to grey could lead to new ways of delaying or even preventing it. Researchers analyse more than 6,000 people of varying ancestry across Latin America. They looked at seven characteristics of hair, including greying. Among the various genes they identified was IRF4, which helps control melanin. They knew it played a role in hair colour, but for the first time it was also found to be key in the greying process. If we are able to control that genetic pathway, we might have a way of controlling hair colour or hair greying. Hairdresser Ross Poole says 70% of all his clients want some form of colouring. It's definitely part of the ageing process. No one likes to think of themselves getting older, and certainly no one likes to portray that or come across that way. And by covering up the grey, prevents that. Oh, you've got a little bit older, have you? It's just that stigmatism, I suppose. So why is it that people worry so much about grey? How would you feel if one day you did find the grey hair? <laughs> Just know that I'm ageing, right? <laughs> well, it's the same thing. If I find myself with wrinkles, then I'll, you know, I'm getting old. It's not something that worries me. Um, if I'm being brutally honest, I'd rather have more kind of texture to it, you know? The colour doesn't really, doesn't really bother me at all. In this day and age, with social media being such a pressure and that sort of thing, I think everybody wants to look as young as possible. Um, and I think that grey hair is inherently associated with ageing, so I think it's just part of a bigger, a bigger question, really. And just what is society's problem with grey hair anyway? Ageing and older people are, are seen as being uh, perfectly nice and uh, warm and all the rest, but not as very competent. And so I think grey hair is seen as one of those little signals that this person might be a bit less capable less competent than other people around them who don't have those signs. Around £3 million was spent on temporary colouring products in the UK last year. This discovery could eventually pave the way for a pill to prevent greying. A silver bullet, if you like. Ender Brady, Sky News. Well, earlier we spoke to the consultant plastic surgeon Ash Mosahabi and the creator of the blog Grey is OK, Denise O'Neill. I started by asking Mr. Mosahebi what, what he thought of the new discovery. It's quite exciting because it gives us the first window into uh, looking at the ageing process. And uh, so that's, it's quite exciting for me to, to hear that. And what sort of things would, would, would come from this? I mean, we don't normally interfere with people's genes very often, yes. do we? Well, I mean, ageing process is not just about looks. Obviously, it's uh, about also how your body works. Uh, it's from the heart condition to lung condition to general body disorders that come about as we age. So I think that, f as a first step, is a great uh, step towards that. Denise O'Neill, what do you make of it? You've made the point of going grey, some would say gracefully, others not. But your argument is that women shouldn't be afraid to let their grey hairs come through. Do you think the discovery of this gene could change things? I mean, if they invent a pill which could turn off that gene, would that change your attitude, do you think? Would you actually maybe take that pill and change your hair colour back? <laughs> um... I just find it bewildering that people are actually discussing ageing in a negative way. Um, I see ageing as a positive thing and I um, decided to go grey at the age of 45 because I used to dye my hair, which I did for about 10 years and I felt it looked good. But when I reached the age of 45, I realised that it was actually making me look a lot older than I was. So I decided then to try grey hair and I thought I'd give it a go. and. Um, I've never looked back. I actually think that my grey hair harmonises better with my skin and my complexion and um, I'm happy with that. I know it's a matter of choice for women they, to whether or not they go grey or not, that's up to them. But for me and for many other women, we're happy being grey and we want to see that as a positive choice for women. Um, and regarding the ageing message, I am 
I'm so sick and tired of hearing the anti-aging message. When you look at the word anti-aging, that means anti is something. And you know, why would you want to go against what is natural to grow older, um, and to grow older healthily, and to you know showcase yourself at your best? Why not? Yes, of course. But why fight aging? Why not enjoy it and embrace it? Well, let's ask Mr. Mah Mr. Habi that very same question because yeah. most of your clients, I will guess, come from the female population of a certain age who are fighting the aging process. Has yeah. society got it all wrong here? Why are we fighting something that is natural? I absolutely agree with Denise. I think it's, it is natural, but if some people feel that they want to fight it in a sense that they want to still look young, and it's not the recent thing. It goes back, you know, thousands of years in an elixir of youth. People have always been after that. So I think it's nothing new. Not, uh, we're not going to re uh, rediscover a wheel, uh, but it already meant a wheel. But it's, it's something that's been always going on. Well, hang on. Wait a minute. I mean, the aging process is yes. about dying, right? Yes. Uh, so it's not surprising, since yes. most people don't want to die, that they want yes. to slow it down. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And I think if that's, uh, it's also, like Denise pointed out, it's, as getting aged healthily. If that's the case, it's great, but there are some people who don't, and the whole medical community is a bit built around it. So I think this is the first step towards finding some way of protecting their health. Denise, Adam and I are a perfect example here, perhaps, of where the gender differences <coughs> occur. Adam has uh, gone grey, and that's his ageing process. Yes, blonde, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, sort of blonde ish. <laughs> yes. um, I, I would be grey if I didn't dye my hair, and I'm, you know, of that age bracket as well, early 40s. Um, but it's something society expects of men and women quite different things. And if I were to uh, go mm -hmm. grey gracefully, if you want to put it that way, then I'm sure I would get lots of questions and looks when perhaps Adam doesn't. Well, this is a myth, another myth about going grey. Um, you know, I once read a comment on a Facebook group one time, it's a grey group, and someone commented and said that it's perceived that men go grey, or when they go grey, they are distinguished, and when women go grey, they are perceived as extinguished. And I find that really hard to believe. I mean, I just think that it's one of these myths that has been built up and people are fed this information to make them think that they must color their hair in order to look younger, um, that gray equals old and all of that. Um, and I just think it's so wrong and unfair. But, you know, we are changing that. Times are changing and women are now wanting to share that a message that grey is positive and as I said earlier on it's a positive choice for women. Does this affect everybody? I mean you don't see that many um, grey-haired Chinese and Japanese for example. It does affect everybody but uh, yeah. I think it just uh, that the genetic comes to it so the, uh, the genetics of uh, the more Far Eastern people is different to uh, European people so I think they do different uh, age differently and we know that and I said hopefully this will be the first step towards recognizing something bigger and better. Okay, thank you very much for joining in this debate to go grey or not and whether or not it will change in the future if we do get that magic. Thank you. Thank you both.